All right, I already put up a video talking about uh, if the Warriors win, the NBA is still fixed, and I had to go through some Q&A on that video, so you guys can check that out. That'll be up today. And this video is basically what I do pretty much almost every game. I've been lacking late recently. Uh, but as far as this video is concerned, it's just going to be not so much of what happened in the game because I don't get too deep into it, but just a couple other things, you know. So, any uh Cleveland lost. And, you know, a lot of people ain't too happy about that. But, like I said, don't put too much emotions into this because they looked good in the first quarter and everybody was all hyped and happy. And then it all fell down. We knew when the game got tied then that was going to be pretty much lights out for Cleveland. We just all knew it because the Warriors have the propensity to go on, you know, 10-point uh, spurts at one time, and they're just that's just how they do. All right, so let's look at who did what. Golden State in the first quarter had 28, Cleveland 29. Second quarter, Golden State 24, Cleveland 29. Third quarter, Golden State uh uh, made 31 points, Cleveland 23. Fourth quarter, Golden State made 27 points, Cleveland 21. The score ended up being Golden State wins 110 to 102. Uh, Lakeisha Cole asked, What happened? The answer is Cleveland lost. That's what happened. Uh, the answer is Bron Bron looks exhausted. Uh, he looks uninterested. He looks like he just wants to throw in the towel and just get it over with. Uh, he looks like uh, he doesn't care if they get blown out by 30 points in the last in, in the game on Sunday. That's what happened. Uh, he's exasperated. And if he uh, looks this tired now, there's no way that LeBron is going to stay with Cleveland. There's, listen. Everybody's going to offer LeBron a, a healthy paycheck, okay? It is what it is. The man goes to the finals all the time, all right? Uh, but if he doesn't have a good supporting cast that's going to, you know, help him win the finals, then it's like, well, you know, this is all for naught. But when you got people making mistakes that are just unfathomable, you know, it's like you – the. The look on his face in game one, I keep going back to it because I think that drained his batteries. I just do. I think it just, I think it, you know what I think it did? I think it killed his spirit. I think he, I think it made him tired because when you listen to some of his interviews, his spirit changed. He just, his, his whole outlook of the game, I think it's changed. Like, I don't think it's, I just don't think he has love for the sport after that. I just, when I say love, meaning I don't think he loves playing uh, with a bunch of teammates that um, he's just not sure about. I think he wants to go to a team that he's sure about. I don't think he wants to glue together another team. I don't think that's what he wants. And we know that Rodney Hood and Corver and a couple of those guys, they might be out of there next year. I, look, I just don't think he wants to go through this again. I, I, I just, I'm convinced in my mind that if he loses, he's leaving. <laughs> he's going to be like, okay, uh, who's got the highest bid? And what are we looking at? And listen, another thing is, I know he, you know, this whole goat talk, this, that, and the others out there, but I'm going to tell you something. Some of these players aren't playing to become the best player they can be. Some of them are playing because they, so they can get the most money they can get. Let's be clear on that. You know, don't be surprised if you see Iguodala go to a team that's worse than, well, every team will be worse than uh, the Warriors. But Iguodala was already talking to the Spurs before. Like, don't be surprised if these, if Durant goes to Washington or wherever he's going, Phoenix or whatever, somewhere in the West, uh, and the Warriors are broken up. It just, it's just don't. That should not be a surprise to you guys. Why? Simply because 
uh, a lot of these guys want to go somewhere else and get a big paycheck. But the same thing happens in football. They're looking out for themselves. Anyway, Durant scored. Uh, he played 43 minutes. He made one point each minute, so he had 43 points. Green had 10 points. McGee had 10 points. Klay Thompson had 10 points. Now, Clay Thompson playing 41 minutes and scoring 10 points, something's not right with that picture. You know, Steph Curry, 39 points and scored 11 points. Come on, people. Come on. They probably told them just don't blow their doors off. Come on. Iguodala, we knew he was going to be back and it was going to be a problem. Eight points. Livingston, eight points. Bell, 10 points. Everybody else had zero points. Uh, we go over here to Cleveland side of thing. LBJ, 47 minutes, 33 points. He still had a good game. Love, 20 points. That's good for him. Tristan Thompson, this is what he does. Eight points. This is what... Uh, 34 minutes, eight points. I just can't anymore. I can't. Tristan Thompson, J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith had 13 points. This is his thing. I mean, that's great for J.R. Smith, but it's like, come on. Hill, five points. Hood, 15 points. Uh, Green, three points. Junior, five points. And Corver, zero. Uh -uh. It's just bad. It's just bad, people. That's it, and that's all. I am 100% sure LBJ, oh, look at this dude. That's corny. This, this Patsy. This, this traitor right here, <laughs> this traitor, get out of here, you traitor, <laughs> you traitor is what you are. Anyways, you guys know I can't show you the video because of copyright reasons, and I don't need to get any more copy, more copy strikes, copyright strikes than what I have, so if you're not happy with that, you can go ahead and click off and watch the highlights somewhere else. What I like to do is look at the defense and try to tell, you know, who's on first, what's on second. That is a joke. I like to tell what kind of defense they're playing, what kind of offense is being played, who's doing what. Right here, this is a man-to-man -man defense. This is a loose man-to-man -man defense that they're playing here. How do we know it's a loose man? Man, it's almost a zone. For when you have a wide open person right here. I don't know. Is this Steph Curry? Who's he watching? Oh, he's watching Smith on the outside. There's a man right here. What's this guy doing? Wide open. He was wide open. Anyways. He was wide open, like, give me the ball. Stepped out of the paint like he was supposed to instead of getting hit within three seconds. Boom. So I don't get that at all. But nonetheless, points scored. But this is in the first quarter. It usually switches up in the fourth quarter. Um, so Durant bringing the ball down. Like I said, I can't, I'm sorry I can't show you the video, but it is what it is. Uh, so when we look at the defense, we can tell that this is either a zone or another loose man defense. It looks more like a zone to me. This looks more, this is very zone-ish to me. Uh, so, moving on, I'm not going to be on here too long. KD had a great game. Uh, let's see, this is the second quarter. Now, the reason why the zone and and, and the defense makes a difference because usually when they're playing man-to-man, -man, they just do better. When they're playing a loose zone, they're pretty much telling the other team to go ahead and score on them. We see this so much. Uh, when they're playing uh, hand man-to-man, -man, when, they're, when they're actually doing it right, the brown with the pull-up, when they're doing it the right way, then... You know, you know that team is playing better. This, this is a man to man. This is a tight man to man. You see how his hand is reaching out here. His hand, he, uh, uh, you see how he is on him. This is a tight man to man defense. Whenever they play this type of man to man defense, that team is doing a lot better. A loose man to man looks like this. This is a very loose man to man. 
And you see, he barely even moved out. I think this is Tristan Thompson. He's, he's on green. Uh, 6'10 against, I don't know how tall green is, but I know he's not as tall as Tristan Thompson. Nonetheless, still, this is a man-to-man -man defense. It tightened up now. So this is a tighter man-to-man -man defense. Boom. And there was the switch. Did you see the switch in the defense? All right, so look at the defensive play right here. This is Tristan Thompson. He's pretty much holding down the paint. He isn't even looking at the ball. He's looking at uh, the... Who's this over here? Is this Iguodala? He's looking at... Uh, I think it is. I'm not sure who this is right here, number 11. But nonetheless... So if I guessed it wrong, don't harass me. I, I don't know who this is. But nonetheless, he sees this person breaking. He knows the ball is over here. Okay? This might be Iguodala over here. He knows the ball is over here. But watch this break and play on the defense. He breaks to the end. He throws his hand up. Which is good. See, that is good defense. That's what you're supposed to do. He, is, he isn't even paying attention to where the ball is. Okay? That's good defense. That's heads up defense. This is what you're supposed to do. He knows this guy. This guy breaks in here. It's an easy two points. Boom, right there. He gets the ball. He threw his hand up. That's excellent. That's the kind of stuff I miss seeing and why I stopped, why I stopped watching because they didn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Look at his box out right here. Okay, now the ball is already in the air, and Tristan Thompson's mind is still on this player. That's just good defense, people. That's the way you're supposed to do it. All right, and this is why I stopped watching the NBA because I just, you just didn't see it that much. You didn't see great defense like that anymore. It's just like you miss it. You saw a bunch of showboating on offense, and you know it's like ah, oh, it just made you sick. But nonetheless. And, uh, you know, they were holding them down. The 103 to, to 100, okay, they were holding them down when they tightened up on that man. Now, this is a loose, loose man defense. But nonetheless, it's just the difference in the defensive plays and when they have certain defensive plays uh, being executed. This is almost, this is a zone right here. Anyways, it's your boy Tone202, man. God loves you, so do I.